So the bit of salt X at 20 degrees Celsius is 40 grams 100 of water while at 70 degrees Celsius is this. Determine the mass of the salt that we crystallize out when 165 of a saturated solution is cooled from 70 to 20. It's supposed to be 20 to 20 degrees Celsius. So you we must have answered at what? At 70 degrees Celsius, what is the solubility? At 70, it is 65 grams in 100 grams of water. At 20 degrees Celsius, at 20, it is 40 grams of 100 grams of water. Yes. So, but remember we have now here a saturated solution. This saturated solution contains a given volume of a solvent or a mass and it contains a solute. So from the way this, this is 165, it means it was dissolved in 100 centimeter grams of water and 65 grams of the solute was dissolved in 100 grams. So that's what it means. So it means 165, it is important to understand grams of saturated solution implies that implies that 65 grams was dissolved in 100 grams of water so that 65 plus this one the answer is 165 grams 65 grams are we together i hope so so now it means that we have 65 grams of the solute dissolved in 100 grams of, wa of water. Now we want to know the crystals that will be formed when the solution is cooled from 70 to 20. But we know the solubility at 20 is 40. Right? The solubility at 20 degrees Celsius is 40. And the mass now, the final temperature is 65. We have our mass at been cooled to 20. Our mass is of the mixture is now 65 grams. What will be the mass that we crystallize out? Because this one is going to 20 degrees Celsius. And the 20 degrees Celsius is 40 grams. The, the, the solubility at 20 degrees is 40 grams in 100. Now we have the solubility to be uh, in 20, 65. Now it is more than what is there. There it means the, re the excess, the one, the mass that is above 40 will form crystals. Right? Now the crystals now is 65 minus 40. We will have 25 grams of crystals are going to be formed.